YouTube, what is up? That College Gamer here, back at it with another vlog. This is vlog number three. And for those of you who don't know, put one of these out every single week, just highlighting either a hot topic, you know, in the gaming industry or something that's just on the top of my head that, you know, I feel like all you guys would, would enjoy uh, listening to, hearing me talk about. So this week, we are talking about spoilers, right? And before you shut it off, I'm not saying any spoilers in this video. I'm talking about why people shouldn't do it, especially around Zelda Breath of the Wild. Because it, to me, I don't want the game spoiled before I get it, you know, give or take a month from now. So, title of this one, Don't Spoil Breath of the Wild, okay? So, I'm on social media a lot, right? And I, you know, follow all the gaming pages on, you know, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, uh, you name it. I follow the, the big players in the space, right? So, the other day, I think it was yesterday, Game Informer, which is like the gaming magazine that you get when you buy uh, a pro membership at GameStop, right? I get it. Um, they announced that Breath of the Wild is their cover for for the next issue, which makes perfect sense. I'm... You know, that's awesome. I can't wait to get my hands on it. But there's an asterisk there. Because they also announced that they're releasing a bunch of spoilers, which they already have released. Some. A bunch of spoilers, a ton of details about the game that Nintendo has not, you know, released themselves. So, um, Game Informer basically got, you know, a, a private session with Breath of the Wild to give their two cents and, and to give advertising to, you know, to the game and their input and, and all that. So, they came out and said, you know, with a, with a bunch of stuff right off the bat and there's stuff circulating on the internet that if you want to search for, you can find it. I highly do not recommend that. But so, some of the topics that they, they cover, and these are just topics, nothing nothing about the game um, specifically. So apparently they're putting out a dungeon video. I'm not watching that. But they're putting it out. They're talking about boss battles. I think they're going to have a video for it. Um, tons of shrine info and then... Info on, you know, how Link and Zelda interact uh, together as one. And, and this is just information that is not being straight up, you know, released by Nintendo, per se. So, you know, I, I'm not really okay with this. Because, to, to start off, my views on spoilers is I wish we didn't have them. Because number one, and I'll go into detail here in a minute. Number one, it ruins the experience of the game as a whole. You know, it just takes away all the surprises. And then number two, it leaves, it, it screws people like myself and, and much of you, I assume, it, being exposed to this information unintentionally. I've already seen a couple of the spoilers that they put out on, on Twitter and through other people that I follow, and it kind of, you know, it kind of pissed me off that I saw this, because it ruined that aspect of the game, like, I would love to, to experience the way that Link and Zelda interact together for myself, rather than reading it in somebody's tweet that got retweeted a hundred times, and confirmed by six sources that that's how it works, well, I would much rather find that out on my own than, than hear it, you know, three and a half weeks or so from launch date. So, <clears throat> number one, it, it just, it ruins the experience of the game, right? And, and let me backtrack real quick. This is not just Game Informer. This is tons of people all over social media, YouTube, just any news outlet, honestly, that consumers have access to, this information is on. So, 
if you really want to go dig around on Reddit and stuff like that and find out everything about Breath of the Wild, it's all there for you. But I'm talking about just scrolling through Twitter and seeing this shit is kind of ridiculous, right? And, And so, you know, it's just that I noticed Game Informer officially putting this out that it kind of set me off and, and made me want to make this video for you guys. So, you know, the two biggest things, it ruins the experience. It ruins the little the little things that you just, I guess, stumble across in the game. Well, I've already read about them in Game Informer, so it doesn't make those moments as special, right? And if it, and it, I'm assuming if you're watching this, you play Zelda. And those games are all about moments and experiences and and discovering what's in the game, right? I view a Zelda game as a giant, almost like a canvas or something along that nature that I can just like explore and and create my own journey. And with Breath of the Wild, that's more so than ever, right? I mean, there's there's rumors going around about how, how big the map is being X, you know, however many times bigger than uh, Skyrim and Twilight Princess and GTA and and all that, we won't know for sure until we get our hands on it how big it is. I don't even know if the information is officially out there. I haven't looked for it because I don't actively search for stuff like that, but <clears throat> I've come across a few things that basically confirm that Breath of the Wild is going to be freaking huge, right? So... It's all about discovery and discovering these little things throughout the game to to make your personal experience while playing uh, special, if you will, right? So, you know, again, seeing these, these posts and, and videos about how they're making videos on the dungeons and the bosses, like, there's no need for me or much of you to even watch that because you get so much more enjoyment out of you know going through a dungeon figuring it out yourself going through trial and error you know going in the same room six times before figuring it out when the answer is right in front of you you know that's just part of the game but if you already see somebody go through it you you'll have flashback memories of oh this is how they did it and then you know you already know what where the chests are where you know, what's on the other side of the door in a certain room. So, to me, I don't think it's right that Game Informer is doing this. I get it. They're going to get a shit ton of people that will watch the video. They'll get paid a ton of ad money. They'll get paid all this stuff. Their views will go up. Their social media is going to skyrocket because people are curious about the game. I get that. But you're also ruining it for yourself by not waiting three and a half or so weeks to just get your hands on it, you know, and and do those things all by yourself. So to end this out, I want to give you a couple ways to to almost protect yourself, if you will, from being exposed, at least to the best of my ability. This is what I do from being exposed to this. I guess, spoiler epidemic that is going to happen in the next three weeks or three and a half weeks. Uh, It's bound to happen. People are getting excited. They're going to want to share everything Zelda. I tweet Zelda stuff all the time. I share the official Nintendo page content all the time. So the way to do it is only take in Zelda information or any video game information, say Red Dead Redemption 2 coming out, you know, later this year, only take official video game information from the maker. So only watch Nintendo official press releases, official trailers, official, you know, art that they put out on social media. Only look at that stuff. Fill your brain with, you know, legitimate content from, like, official content. So that you're you're not open because because they're not gonna give you they're not gonna spoil anything for you. What Nintendo has shown us through their social media is 
you know, probably four, three or four percent of the entire game. You know, we have no idea if you've only looked at official Zelda content. We have no idea what this game is going to be, how massive it's going to be, how extensive it's going to be. We only know like the outside, the outsider's view on this. So only watch the official stuff. And also don't, and the last thing here is just don't go searching for information in like the dark web. If you know, don't go to YouTube and search, you know, Breath of the Wild secrets or Twitter and go back and just scour every single tweet or go on the Reddit feeds and, and do that. You know, you're just going to ruin the experience for yourself. So, you know, it's fine. Game Informer puts their stuff out. They'll make their money there. They'll, you know, they got hands-on experience with it. I'm a little jealous, but at the end of the day, I'm glad that I haven't expose myself to this information um and it's going to stay that way and, and i'm just going to create my own experience and my own uh d- discovered the breath of the wild all by myself you know well not by myself but on twitch so you guys can join in but until it's released i i recommend and urge you to to stay with the official content and and just enjoy Enjoy the next few weeks before, you know, Breath of the Wild takes over the world. So, I'll tell you what. Let me know what you guys think uh, on spoilers, on Breath of the Wild in general, on the Nintendo Switch. Let me know in the comments. Uh, Please subscribe. Follow me on Twitch. Uh, You know, thanks for hanging out. Uh, I'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks.